community advocates, it, it fills a gap in our city, definitely. There's no one who really does what we do. The presumption is a lot of people think that if you have a uh, mental health diagnosis or have a mental health concern that you just get help. And the reality is that most people don't get help. I think at this point in time, it, it's too much stress. Because homeless people don't necessarily come to you. You go out and you find them. If their mental illness is pretty severe, they aren't going to come to you. You have to go to them. And then that begins whatever path you're going to take with them. How are you doing? Good. Nice to see you. And you're warm enough? You got yeah. your gloves? Okay. Have you talked to your family lately? Most people with mental illness are more likely to actually be victims of crime than to commit crimes. Can you come talk to me tomorrow to let me know how it went? There are a lot of people who have a lot of complex needs in our community and um, are pretty vulnerable. Community Advocates is there to really be a safety net for people and trying to get them to the next step in their lives. I grew up in a, a pretty violent household. I was uh, subjected to a lot of uh, mental, sexual, physical, and emotional abuse at the hands of my stepfather. I didn't know about my PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. I had great jobs in my life. I would lose them because I would have these anger outbursts. Some of my lowest points in my life, well, for one was being homeless. When I was on the streets, um, I just felt all alone. That, that was my, my lowest point, when I just had nowhere else to turn. So I am going to talk to Matt. He's going to give you a ride home. Okay. okay. And the lowest point of my life, when I lost my sister in Katrina. And um, I made my way to Milwaukee and I stayed on the streets for about three days and I had a stroke and I ended up in the hospital. And I thought it was all over. My son would come to visit me and died in a car accident. And it was hard and still hard. Sometimes it's hard to smile, but some kind of way I can get through the day the biggest misconception people have about homeless people is that they're, they're bums. They, they don't want anything out of life. And we, we've all come from somewhere, you know. You have people with college degrees, we're real people with real lives, with real stories. All of the people that we see that are out on the street, if you ask them what they want, what they always say is, I want a place to live. Community Advocates makes sure that people have the very basic things that they need to live. Food, a place to sleep at night, access to doctors, and heat and light. And that's what we're about. When I was first approached by Community Advocates about the housing program, and I'm, I was overwhelmed because I thought I would never have another home in my life. So with Community Advocate providing housing first and I had a place to go, it was a lot of weight lifted off of me. Um, just knowing I had a roof over my head. They provide transportation to and from your medical appointments. They just give you that one-on-one -on -one genuine uh, support. I had lost everything I owned, and I never thought I owned anything anymore. And I owe it all to community Africa. I'm just telling you, and that's that's the truth. I owe everything I got right now to community Africa, even to the clothes I wear. Some nights um, I lay awake, and I'm just in awe of how far I've come. I'm grateful for community advocate and hear my prayers every night. I, I just can't describe how I felt that somebody actually cared that much that, that this is actually home. And it brought tears to my eyes because I, I finally got a sense of normalcy. Community Advocates is the last hope for many people that have fallen through the safety net. 
is we need Milwaukee to join with us to make sure that Milwaukee is the kind of place that uh, children and people have a warm, safe, dry place to stay each and every night. I come to work each day uh, because I believe that everybody sometime in their life needs a hand and um, one of my friends told me one time, he's like, we all do better when we all do better and I truly believe that. I can, we connect with people and we're able to just be with someone else who's gone through things and um, just to help them. So that's why I do what I do. I'm at that high point of my life again and I owe it all to a community advocate.